Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. We're currently running a giveaway for those who are liking our videos, so give the video a like if you want to be entered into that giveaway. So we're just taking a look at XRP here and as we can see, for some reason my TA, my previous TA has been a uh, has disappeared from the chart, so I'm just going to throw it back on. You can see very clearly we've got a key level of support and resistance. Previous you know, bear market resistance here flipped into support. A very, very key level that we'd say is you know absolutely integral. Obviously, the all-time high here. And we do have this very interesting swing high and swing low area, we would say, in this region here as well. Those would be our three key areas in reality. We've got an interesting trend line also that we're currently stuck under looking something like this. And we'd say we've also got a you know a full on bear market trend line like this for XRP as well. Those would be some key resistances that we are looking at in terms of breaking to the upside. And if I just quickly throw the Fibonacci on as well from the previous bull market high down to this low here, you can see these Fibonacci levels that we do need to see ourselves getting back up above and through. You can see you got a much better idea of the price action in general now and what is currently going on. And as we can see, almost immediately you can identify thanks to these indicators that I've just thrown on you've got your resistance 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 and again here we are currently getting stuck under most likely here this resistance for XRP it's had a very nice nice little move to the upside here hasn't it to basically come up and retest some key levels of resistance and you can see here pretty much we are stuck under that trend line bear market trend line resistance currently at around 55 cents there very interestingly here for XRP obviously we came down didn't we and we formed a little bit of a range you would say looking something like this, which would be, you know, you come down here, you form the bottom of your range almost here at the bottom with this big wick. You come back up top of the range, bottom, bottom, bottom. We come down again, bottom, bottom. We're stuck under our EMAs, aren't we? Very Looking very bearish for XRP in general. But then you can see here, we've actually come up, we've had a very, very nice bullish move for XRP. We come up, we smash through the 023 Fibonacci. Let me just drag these in a bit closer so I can actually see the values of them. When I'm talking about them on the screen, to make sure that's correct, looking something like this. You can see here very nicely, we've come up, we've smashed through our 023 Fibonacci there. We came all the way up to that previous swing high resistance that support, which has been flipped into resistance here. You can see we got stuck under resistance, that double top there with the bearish divergence. So we basically run back down that previous range high resistance flipped into support where we've been consolidating for the past month or so. And you can see now today having a very, very nice move to the upside. If we look at the hourly time frame here, you can see XRP over the past few hours has actually had a huge move to the upside, a very parabolic set of candles where we've essentially come up. We've broken out of this ranging zone that we've been in for a good, good while here. Come up to retest that resistance again. And you can see that, you know, we're pretty much tapping it, you would say. If I drew my line a bit more accurately, you'd say essentially we are tapping into this resistance zone here where we have seen a good amount of rejection. Also, you would say in coinciding with this swing high here, this bear market resistance overall, this is a very key level that does need to be broken out of, obviously. And we do think, you know, considering we are starting to see some signs of life for a lot of cryptos, aren't we? A lot of bullish momentum for a lot of cryptos like Polygon, for example. We've seen a few others as well, like Litecoin, all starting to show signs of life. People are probably getting bored with the bear market scenario right now. And you can see XRP is no exception. It has had a very a fairly decent run up today. Looking like we are just essentially, you know, chopping it up in a little bit of a range. Maybe a new range forming, you would say. Looking something like this that does need to be broken out of. In either direction for us to see any, you know, true price action in either direction. But XRP, you know, it's showing a lot of signs of life in our opinion. You could say realistically, we could be forming a bit of bear, bullish market structure here. If you come down, you could consider this maybe a double bottom or maybe, a, you know, this is a fairly equal high, maybe even a higher low here or at least a, 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 you know, a double bottom like this. And now coming up, forming that higher high. And if we do hold this low here for our higher low and start to move up through our fibs and our key levels, then we could be looking at essentially, you know, some bullish market structure for XRP. So. We do think XRP, you know, obviously the fundamentals are absolutely crazy. And if we do see any, um, you know, positive news in the SEC lawsuit for XRP saying they've settled or won the case, then this is probably just going to rip through a lot of key levels very quickly, isn't it? Because it's going to be a massive amount of bullish momentum in the market, in our opinion. So overall, we'd say, you know, XRP, it's just, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? So 
Our key levels and our targets here. We do need to see this key level of resistance broken at 50 cents. The next key target would be 55 cents and then beyond that the 0 03. The 0 038 Fibonacci at 60 cents would be our next key level. Obviously, if we're rolling back over, we do want to see the bottom of this range, you know, holding a support around that 44 cent level. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel. Grab yourself some free money bonuses, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.